I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Network and we have another story that's coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida, okay? So what's going down in wretched Florida, you ask? What's going down is this? We have a 14 year old girl who wants to be damn grown, okay? Her and her boyfriend plan to basically rob the pizza man of his vehicle so she could drive the car to come see him. So what happened is that she snuck out the house around midnight, she called the pizza delivery man to deliver pizza to her neighbor's house. As he was getting out the car to go deliver the pizza, she jumps her little ass in the car and she drives off and she goes to go visit her boyfriend, okay? So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. I woke up to a phone call that she took off with her ordered pizza and took off of the car. A dreaded phone call for any parent, but late Tuesday night, Joseph Bigelow says he actually wasn't surprised. He got a call. She's on the wrong, wrong track and she can do whatever she wants. Deputies arrested his daughter, Josie Bigelow, after they say she ordered a pizza from Papa John's to her neighbor's house and stole the delivery driver's car. But nobody here uh, order pizza. I don't eat pizza. This is Noel Perez. He heard his doorbell ring at midnight and was greeted by the man holding pizza. He said that he was out delivering pizza to my address and while he was doing that, apparently somebody jumped from uh, from this area over here, jumped in the car and took off with his car. Only our cameras were there as deputies questioned the two and looked for the vehicle. The car was uh, basically right there. Which ended up six miles away on Sebring Avenue in Bill Teal's driveway. Why did they pick our driveway? Like, you know, so I, I don't know whether they were chasing the girl. Deputies arrested Bigelow. Her father says Josie and her boyfriend planned the whole thing. She just stole a piece of man's car and she's... Had, I, I sent the cop text messages of her and her boyfriend talking about robbing people and all that. Bigelow says deputies let her out of the juvenile detention center four hours after the arrest, which he says isn't long enough. She needs an ass whooping. You damn right she does. That and jail. Do you think she'll commit another crime? Absolutely. Absolutely. No doubt about it. She's going to because there's no nothing being done. All right, y'all just watch that news clip. And first of all, the father, to me, he's a bit too lax. I don't understand how she did all of that. They had text messages of her planning to rob people and do other crimes. And the police allow her to leave after only being in juvenile detention for four hours. I think that's bullshit. The father's talking about she needs an ass whooping. No, she doesn't need an ass whooping at 14. You should have been whooping her ass way before it got to this point. Obviously, this father has absolutely no control of his daughter. The daughter runs his household, which to me is ridiculous. One, how does the little girl know how to drive? It was midnight, so she has to be a damn good driver to be able to drive at night, meaning that she's been driving. How does she learn how to drive? It seems like to me the father is not really being a decent father and disciplining his child because if he was really disciplining her and giving her the tools that she needed to become a young woman, she wouldn't be behaving in this manner. Still in cars, running off to go see her boyfriend, no respect for her father. This entire situation is a hot damn mess and it makes no sense whatsoever. ever. And like I said, the fact that she was allowed to get out after four hours, even though the father feels like she should be locked up and the police are not listening to him, it's it's only going to be a matter of time before we do another story about this girl in a few months, maybe a few years of her doing something to somebody, harming somebody. She definitely has the attitude and disposition that she cannot be touched and that she can do whatever she wants. And if she wants something, she doesn't have to ask permission. She can just go out and take it. So this entire situation is crazy, but she most definitely needs a lot more than an ass whooping. She needs discipline and she needs her father to actually put his foot down and do something about her shitty ass behavior. This story just pissed me the hell off, okay? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. Once again, coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet-Ass Florida. All right, deuces.